Guys, please stop asking me to look up at this thing when I walk out because like I said, it's low hanging fruit. Low hanging fruit, which is an idiom. Do not be clipping Kyle to take it out of context because earlier I know I said I'm not going to talk about Neil Druckmann because he's low hanging fruit to me too which is not meant to be taken in a homosexual context. It is meant to be interpreted as the idiom it is. Please don't retweet me to little kids who were, were born seven minutes ago to get outraged on TikTok and Twitter with their uncultured asses. They have very important stellar blade to riot against. Oh, I guess my head's gone. What an improvement for this ugly bitch. <laughs> Hello, beta testers. <laughs> you should finally tell them a big secret. No, I don't think we'll be telling them that. I mask my insecurity. Joker, he's masking insecurities. Masking Mask insecurities with traditional Joker behavior. behavior. The task force X outfits. Yeah, right. <laughs> Nice outfit, Hal. Hey, I'm being sarcastic. I don't know you. Wasn't expecting you to come in fun size. I don't know you. You really don't know me? Harley and Ivy forever? In ten story burning letters? Nope. Jeez. And not any little girl. My little girl. Oh, I just want to smush those little green cheeks. Quinn. Oh, that came out weird. If I were targeting children, I'd have broken up those clips to spell everything out for you. But I don't need to wipe the applesauce from your bib because you're not a child, and I respect my audience. The separation between you and them is that you can handle the truth, and data doesn't scare you. So while they're blaming IGN or trying to spin the two people who reviewed this game five stars as like a good thing, here's some unavoidable facts about Sweet Baby Sushi Squad by the feminist studio Rocksteady. Sushi Squad launched to half the numbers of the 30 FPS buggy recycled boss fight using Gotham Knights. Sushi Squad launched to a third the numbers of the now delisted Marvel's Avengers. So grab your favorite reactions from serial cappers over this game the way that I did for Avengers. Go back and watch those videos because thank God IGN is now a lightning rod for these morons. Here's what IGN said about Hogwarts Legacy after a preview of that game. Of course, anyone who chooses to play Hogwarts Legacy must contend with all sorts of contradictions, most of which are far more important than the usual dissonance we tend to find in video games. J.K. Rowling has established herself as one of the most prominent anti-trans mouthpieces on the planet. The character creator in Hogwarts Legacy offers a huge amount of gender diversity, but that cannot change the fact that the author of these books remains the proprietor of the Harry Potter intellectual property. If purchasing this video game feels like a tacit endorsement of Rowling's retrograde worldview, nobody can say you're wrong. I spoke with Alan too about these questions during my visit, and you can read the results of our conversation on IGN. So uh, we should waste time explaining to these kids that IGN always been a fucking bobblehead jackass but does this mean that i don't want them to receive reviews or do they have a role to play hogwarts legacy went on to become the best-selling game of 2023 because it's something people wanted something the industry is learning again with pal world ign fulfilled its purpose of having their normie opinion and the difference in the response on yet another platform trying to hide your dislikes and censor your comments is in the data for all to see. Sushi Squad, Garbage Day, Signals, and is message heavy. And even the Kool-Aid guzzlers at IGN couldn't get jiggy with this. So an IGN reviewer named Destin, exactly the kind of destiny-loving normie that you'd want to review this, was honest, was real probably feeling the heat of artificial intelligence on the back of his neck. However, missions tend to favor many of the tired and true types, which makes them feel a bit like uninspired filler. Like, stop me if you've heard this one before, you defend a point from waves of enemies that spawn. Sound familiar?
earlier? Now imagine every time you defeat a handful of these enemies, you just stand around waiting with nothing to do. This was exactly what happened during one of the core story missions, and the padding feels completely unnecessary. When the next quest started, I stood there while Amanda Waller called my character on comms and- I have over 30 minutes of me just standing here rooted to the spot without the ability to leave the immediate rooftop I'm on while some douche gives me something that they could be saying while I'm moving. But the reason that this is here is to pad the game out. It's already short, I'm not even done with the story, but this is how often they force you to just stand there. It's worthy of hate. This is deception. This is a scam. So yes, people are right to treat Rocksteady and the children like a roof on fire that don't need no water. Let the mother burn. May they enjoy the servers while they're still online. I respect your intelligence, beta tester, because I don't want kids here. I don't need them waging wars or fighting my battles or liking my videos and subscribing and clicking the notification bell. Not everything is for children, especially not games rated M. But this game is tame, lame, sweet baby, shame. It's less edgy than teen or weeb experiences that are free. Brace yourself. You are about to witness a superhuman being rip the still beating heart from a man's chest cavity. Viewer discretion is advised. Would you look at that? He did have a heart. Catch! No! Rated M for Mature. Yeah, so this is why we're living in a world where all these people are wetting their diapies over Stellar Blade. How dare that woman be attractive? Don't you know that we have an ugly woman quoted to me? Whether you're just a fan, a casual, or even a hardcore gamer, at every step of this dated experience, you'll be thinking of ways that this could have been improved or enhanced. God forbid you've played Warframe or Destiny 10 fucking years ago, because this is more dated than that. But the worst of Sushi Squad is twofold, that you can tell Rocksteady, as you know them, did not make it, and that it's Arkham in name only to get those sales. It betrays the incompetence and lack of familiarity among the people that are currently working there with the source material. To anyone who was foolish enough to buy this, expecting anything other than feminist, dismissing lazy writing with, It can just be whatever I want, cause multiverse, and you guys are just mad that I'm playing with your toys too now. <laughs> it's not just disrespectful, it's disrespectful to real women. I have one tattoo on my body, it's from a game that didn't let politics compromise its short, but masterfully executed and memorable experience. From the bottom of my heart, from the bottom of many people's hearts, fuck you, current day, Rocksteady. I hope you burn in hell, because you're ready to make atheists start believing in a 2,000-year-old carpenter on that magic trick David Blaine energy. Okay? So you may be really mad enough to reach down to the dark corners of the internet to fuck with who? You have no idea who I'm a messenger for. And they watch it this and they not really please, my nigga. But again, a third Avengers numbers, you got other shit to worry about. So suck a dick to the new Rocksteady and a shout out to the old Rocksteady that created something phenomenal and timeless that people have as an established bar to measure things by. More importantly, for inspiring innovation and growth in an industry that, these days, is pandering. Thanks to untalented hacks who have forced uh, their agenda and message into these things that they must attach themselves to because they can never earn on their own and therefore will never respect what they're working on. Did you know that if you pester supposed no-nonsense hard-ass Amanda Waller, she will not blow your head up? 
This is because there were no gamers, writers, or creatives available to include the flavor into a dish that shills suck so much dick that they refer to as cooking. I guess you can bake poop in the oven and call that cooking too. It's what they mama did. I remember when black youth would feel shame using terms like this, spreading their ass cheeks wide. But I guess, you know, token black niggas are out here pandering on that Oreo energy and I'm just supposed to look the other way. This is how I'm starting Black History Month. I have a dream that writers would be selected based on their abilities and passion for the given project. I believe real inclusion is more people with a place at the table, not just the chosen or approved people, especially not by the cult that swears they're progressive, but shows us otherwise. The reinvention and redefinition time is over now, and you're running out of copium in this bag here, so I'm just the messenger, and I'm sorry that my bedside manner isn't becoming of a fat, fugly, flat-chested, femininity-hating current-day writer at Rocksteady who's so upset at an outfit that the game can't even allow Captain Boomerang to be a disgusting man and degrade a woman, rated M for mature, but because women are holding the pen, his character is non-existent. He's just some insecure man like all the other men that we're writing, you know what I mean? In fact, most of these characters won't be acting themselves because the script was handled by the feminists who are going to only make them close enough to the character to get the game out the door, you know what I mean? But they're really just the message. So the feminists and the one day away from dick chop surgery dudes like the drugster on that yes ma'am energy <laughs> that are hoping for their next pegging soon. These writers got Lex Luthor simping over wonder entity with respect to their pronouns because they have cured toxic masculinity in the bio apparently. It means that King Shark can now wear a green lantern ring. Why not? I, I shouldn't get started, honestly. Like this video, leave a comment below on what you'd like to see next, and uh, wait until I finish this, man. Because then I'll really get started on some of the super cuts of everybody's sentiments on this. <laughs> Prove me wrong. He looked like a man.